Today we're going through the definitive best practice procedure for upgrading your Cisco router. We're going to ensure your new software works the first time. Start by heading to the Cisco website and downloading the iOS software for your router. Make sure the version you download is specifically for your model. The next step is optional, but recommended. You can verify the file's hash value and compare it to the one listed on Cisco's site. When it comes to the USB drive, smaller and older drives often work better. Here, I'm using an 8GB USB drive. Format the USB as either FAT or FAT32. This step is important. If the USB isn't formatted correctly, the Cisco router won't be able to read it. Once the USB is formatted, copy the iOS file you downloaded onto the drive. Next, connect the console cable to the router. Cisco marks the console port with blue coloring, making it easy to identify. Plug the USB end of the console cable into your laptop and then insert the prepared USB drive into the USB port on the router. To access the router, you'll need a terminal program. You can use either TerraTerm or PuTTY. Make sure to select Serial as the connection type, and then choose the correct COM port from the list. Before copying anything, let's start by checking what storage the router sees. I run Show File Systems. This confirms that boot flash is available and that the USB drive is detected and writable. Seeing USB 0 listed here tells us the router recognizes the USB drive and we're ready to move forward. Next, I list the contents of the USB drive. This is where the iOS XE image lives. Take a moment here and confirm the exact file name. Cisco image names are very specific, and even a small typo can stop the upgrade cold. Now we copy the iOS XE image from the USB drive into boot flash. This step can take a few minutes, depending on the size of the image. The key here is patience. Do not interrupt the copy process. Once the copy completes, we verify that the image is present in boot flash.
With the new image safely stored, we configure the router to boot from it. First, we configure a single boot command, pointing directly to the new iOS XE image. Then, we remove any existing boot statements to keep the configuration clean and predictable. Finally, we save the configuration so the router remembers this setting after the reload. Now it's time to reload the router. At this point, the USB drive is no longer required. During the reboot, the router loads the new iOS XE image directly from Boot Flash. Once the router comes back online, we verify the upgrade. I run Show Version. Here you can see the router is now running iOS XE version 17.12.06. That confirms the upgrade was completed successfully.